Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in to Blobscast. This is your favorite pair of tube socks here yet again. Um, this episode, I'm going to be covering the topic cover. No redundant redundancy? Is that, uh, is that a word? Redundant? That's, uh, I'm just going to say redundancy. Yeah, I'm going to settle on that. No redundancy there. But, yeah. Anyway, I got some cool bullet points for you guys. It is 2.30 in the morning. I am kind of tired, but I still want to make a video. And I, it's been a while. I miss you guys. I just... I can barely... I can barely sleep at night without you guys next to me. You know? I don't get those comments, and I just feel empty inside. So yeah, first one I want to talk about is the bullet penetration in Black Ops. Now, in case you've lived under a rock for the last 11 months, in case you've not even played Black Ops, or in case you don't have anything to compare it to, Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4, the bullet penetration was a huge deal. Those were the first games to implement it, and uh, they gave it some decent power. So shooting through walls, yada yada yada, was actually a really logical thing to do. Uh, in Black Ops, they crushed it. Bullet penetration, unless you have hardened, which no one has, I don't, I have not met anyone who uses hardened ever, but unless you have that, bullet penetration is really worthless. I mean, I think they probably did somewhere around like 25% of the damage, or 50%. I've put 10 hit markers in the guys through walls and nothing. And if you have a silencer, well, you're pretty much screwed. Don't even try it. <laughs> so, bullet penetration in the game is horrible. So, one thing with cover is, if you have something in between you and your enemy, you already have the upper hand. I mean, it just takes that many more shots for him to kill you, and unless he's dead accurate, which goes into my next point, he's not going to be able to kill you, and that's going to give you more time, more health, more anything. You're going to have the upper hand. It's going to take your game to the next level. Boom, that's just one bullet point. I'm not even getting started, guys. Um, the other one I want to talk about is it takes away one area of vulnerability for you. So when you're using cover in Black Ops, you don't always have to be right behind cover. You can be, like, backed into a corner. I'm not saying camping here, guys, just disclaiming. Um, backed into a corner using, like, watching a flag or if you get, uh, if you have to reload or something. I mean... Anything that you have around you is if you can just put yourself by some object It'll just take away one spot where you can get killed from and just being conscious of this when you're in a game Let's say you're in you know summit or something um, When you go up into that hallway, that's L-shaped just like kind of hang on the right side of that computer Mainframe, I don't know what you would call it, but you just got to think like guys come from the left sometimes so, if I get to the right of this thing, I can still cover the guys coming around the corner, but I won't get blasted from the left. Um, just little things like that. You just gotta think of lowering your chances from getting flanked, or other areas. So, that's another really good thing with cover. One of the main points, and probably the most obvious, is using cover just makes you harder to hit. It lowers the surface area, and the less they can see of you, the more skill they're going to have to have in order to kill you in a an adequate amount of time. So, basically, Black Ops is not swarming with really, really good players. Um, I'm not trying to be cocky here, but I am an above-average player, but I'm nowhere even near the top. There's tons of good guys, but compared to those tons of good guys, there's 10, 20, 30-fold of average to below average players and unless you're like a more skilled player who's put a lot of hours into black ops like myself um, you cannot successfully really go ADS and already be on the enemy I mean that's just something that comes with time and just uh, as you develop your skills so if you're behind cover it's gonna take that much longer for the average type of player to aim and use the right stick and get on that like little part of your body that's showing um, now I'm not saying you have to camp here. I'm not I'm not condoning camping, sitting in one spot. This is just being smart when you're in any gunfight, just using the cover around you. So I just want to disclaim that. But it just makes you harder to hit, and you're just... Honestly, this is a really underutilized part of the game, and it can just take your game up like 10, 12, maybe even 13 levels. So, trust me. And as I said before... You don't have to camp to do this. You shouldn't camp to do this. I hate campers, but you shouldn't do it. Uh, you can do it on the move. It takes a little practice, and I even go back in my file share and watch games and kind of, like, coach myself and say, oh, I was, you know, visible from the left there. I should have been behind that bunker or crouched, and that would have made me harder to hit. As you're going on the move, one thing 
that I cannot stress enough is I see people just running out into middle open areas. And I'm not saying you have to be like crouched against the wall all the time, but as you're moving throughout the maps, just be conscious of am I on the open right now? Am I really vulnerable to being shot? And as you're moving, just kind of like move like a real SWAT team does, you know, using cover. I mean, just play smart. It's there for a reason. You're supposed to use that stuff. So just be conscious of your surroundings. Use them. Play smart. Don't run into the open. And your kill death will just skyrocket. Stamp of approval from Tube Socks. Guys, go try it. Watch your file share. Coach yourself. And, you know, it doesn't take a lot of effort, and you can be really good. So this has been your Tube Socks tip of the week. I thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking in there and just sticking with Blobscast. You guys rock. Uh, this has been Tube Socks, your favorite pair, and it's been Blobscast. Take it easy, guys. Peace later. Blobscast. Subscribe, yeah. Subscribe, yeah. <laughs> Ready?